Hello and welcome to this James the Bike Guy where today I get to put in front of you a bike that I believe is one of the best values in the entry level gravel space. This bike retails $1,450 at least at the time of making this video and comes with some really cool features and a frame and fork setup that's perfect for upgrading over time. So in this video we're going to take a look at Giant's Revolt 2. The Revolt 2 is their entry level aluminum gravel bike and today we're going to dissect the features and designs and then we're going to find out exactly what it weighs. So if this kind of thing is interesting to you, I highly suggest you stick around, let me know your thoughts in the comments and hit subscribe if you like what you see. So without further ado, let's talk about the Giant Revolt. So Giant in their lineup has several different bikes and the Revolt has come in as their endurance style gravel bike. And this gravel bike does a great mixture of melding the performance of what you'd get out of their Defy and Contend road bikes, but then adding massive tire clearance and specking it ready to do gravel out of the box. Now $1,450 is of course no small change, but for that amount of money, this is an awesome way to get into it. In fact, it's gonna come with a few features such as adjustable chainstay length positions, wide tire clearance up to 53 millimeters, and modernized geometry we'll get into in a bit to allow this to be a really nice gravel bike as a stepping stone or something to build up over time. The frame of the Revolt 2 is gonna be made out of their Alux aluminum. So this is gonna be a shaped and butted tubing. You can see the tubing has all got interesting shapes, partially smoothed out welds, and then up front, it's gonna go through this inch and an eighth head tube down to carbon fiber fork. The carbon fiber fork is not without its own features, having mounts to be able to add side loaders or fenders to the bike. It does run internal cable routing, which is a nice clean setup to those disc brakes. And then 12 by 100 through axle up front. And through axling is continued in the back here with a 12 by 142 spacing. That's standard through axle spacing for gravel and road bikes now, but the magic trick of this bike is right here. So this is a flip chip. Now, sometimes you may know that mountain bikes come with flip chips to adjust geometry, head tube angle, seat tube angle, things like that. But that's not what this is for. This allows you either a short chainstay position or a long chainstay position by being able to let that flip itself and move where the through axle comes through. When you do that, that's gonna allow in the short position up to a 42 millimeter tire clearance. And then in the long position, it's gonna pull the tire back a little. It's gonna allow it to get into more of that meat of the frame there and allow you up to a 53 millimeter tire clearance. That's gonna give tons of clearance for rubber, for rough roads, or you could even flip it into the long position if you're going on a long endurance ride and you want some additional stability. Other neat features in back, of course, rack and fender mounts. And then one cool thing about this bike is you've got a removable rack mount up on the seat tube. And that mount is adjustable on and off just with this four millimeter. And of course, you've got a little cap to keep it nice and clean. But if you took the seat post out, you could pull the mount off for a cleaner look. And the other neat thing you can see here is it's got this additional little spacer. Effectively, what that allows for is a standard 27.2 millimeter seat post to be installed on the bike. And in fact, in my opinion, that's a huge upgrade over the previous generation because the previous ones required you to run their defuse seat post. So the defuse seat post is where it's flat and back. That allows for some additional flex and compliance in the back end, but it does limit your capabilities on what seat post you'd be able to run. And speaking of running, we've got spots for all sorts of bottle cages. So we've got a bottle cage mount for your seat tube, a triplicate mount series on your down tube. You also have underneath the down tube, a third mount here for another bottle. And then up top, is gonna be a mount for a bento box. Now these are plugged up with these little plastic plugs, but they leave a nice big opening and this thoughtfully arched top tube to be able to shoulder the bike if you're going through some wet or muddy sections or even be able to run a pretty good sized frame bag. And so all that stuff together comes with a threaded bottom bracket and a frame that is a nice base point where if you were to upgrade and get into it, you're not gonna feel like the frame is holding you back from being able to build it into exactly what you want. Now, hopefully you're enjoying the video so far. And if you are, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button as well as check out my Instagram. It's James the Bike Guy, one word on Instagram. Carrying through some of the gravel position is gonna be through this giant contact XR Ergo handlebar. 
This XO Ergo handlebar has a bit of a flare to it, which means that the bar itself is gonna come out a bit wider down at the drops than the top. And that allows when you're in this position, your wrist isn't gonna run into the handlebar. This is a 31.8 alloy bar connected to an alloy stem. And then out back is the giant approach saddle, a truncated nose saddle with a nice cutout for some relief for blood flow downstairs, mounted up on that aluminum defuse seat post. Now, like I said before, this is a great option in my opinion because you could swap in a carbon round 27.2 seat post, add a ton of compliance and drop a little bit of weight for some short money. And it's nice that they're allowing you to do that rather than rely on the proprietary seat post. And moving into the componentry of the bike, this is gonna be one place where it's gonna be great to get you started and it has some nice features, but may be a place you'd want to upgrade. Of course, at the lower cost, it is to be expected. And up front is an FSA crank set with a 4832 chainring combination. We'll talk about that in a bit, but it brings us to the back with a Sora nine speed rear derailleur going through an 1134 cassette, meaning a two by nine drive train. And where this is really interesting is they're running an FSA crank set, I think specifically to be able to get that subcompact chain ring combination. So with a 32, your smallest or easiest gear up front, matched up with a 34, your biggest or easiest gear out back. It's a lower than a one to one ratio, but then swap it out with a 48 up front and the 11 tooth in back. It's fast enough for good pedaling down descents and keeping up with others. And to shift those derailleurs is via Sora STI shifter uses indexed clicks, inside button goes to harder gear, whole lever over can go to an easier gear. And then when you grab the brake, that's gonna then operate two piston mechanical calipers in the front and the rear. I like these mechanical calipers because they work among the best of a mechanical brake and they help keep the cost down, allowing this to come together. The last bits to talk about are of course, it's the giant crosscut AT1 tires. This is a tubeless ready tire and a 700 by 38 C width. I like that it's got nice knobbing to the side, but a smooth enough center line so that it should roll fast. And then it's mounted up on some tubeless prepared giant wheels. These are a double walled alloy rim laced up via standard J-bend spokes and a nice durable position to get you going. Although another place where later down in the future, you could upgrade to some lightweight alloy wheels or even carbon wheels to really liven up the bike. Well, with all that being said, it is now time to find out exactly what this bike weighs. That actual weight of the Giant Revolt in a size medium large comes in and weighs 24.50 pounds. So thanks so much for watching this video on the 2022 Giant Revolt 2. I'm curious to see if you agree with my synopsis that this is an awesome way to get into gravel riding, have a base building block to go further, or even a nice bike at a lower price to keep stock. Well, let me know that down in the comment section below. Browse the channel and definitely hit subscribe if you haven't already.